What's up guys, it's Camo here, and welcome to race 11. We have one last race after this. This is the second to last race. And we are at Armory Digital, hopefully for some good racing. And we only have eight drivers left competing. Well, for the chase at least, or for the title. And congratulations, last week the, sorry, <laughs> sorry, last week Tristan Allen won the Stealth Cup Series Season 2 Championship at Homestead, which we're going there next week, so it's good. And I, I, uh, I feel like I always say, like, oh, and next week is also the finale of the uh, late model series, but no, it's not. We still have, let's see here, four, five, yeah, we have five races left in that series, and so, there you go, but we're focused on this one, so let's get into it. Hopefully, I, I figured out why I didn't have audio, because I turned the master volume all the way down quite a while ago, so... Thumbs up to me, right? Yeah, okay, well, let's get into our signing lineup here. So, Eric Monaco, the highest chase driver in the field, starting on the pole here today. And then we have Matt Tuck, who just last race got knocked out of the chase. And then we have Sam McBride, Jacob Forbes, Eric Hyden, same deal with him. And then we have Oscar Lopez, Emerson Sheets, a chase driver. Wow, a few rows back. So next chase driver. And then we have Tristan Allen again, same deal, got knocked out last race. And then we have Thomas Troxel, Griffin Lynn, a chase driver, Beasley got knocked out last race. And we have Harrison, Eli Bright, oh sorry, Harrison is a chase driver. And we have Nate Bell, we have Ryan Madden, a chase driver, Abe Troxel, a chase driver, Henry Williams, Cody Agon, chase driver, James Richardson, Mitchell Carter, a chase driver, John Gilbert, and Jay Durrell. That is our field here today. Hopefully the game audio isn't too loud. I did put my headphones in so you wouldn't hear it through my mic, which, give me a second, I'm going to turn. So if it's loud or you hear any noises, and you can't hear my voice for a little bit, I'm moving my mic because it is very off-center. Kind of fucked up. Fixed it. Thank you. Oh, man. So... With summer, like I said, I will do more. And starting with, yes, yeah, starting with this race. Sorry, yes, yeah, starting with this race, I will. Remember that layout that I made? I'll use that. Now, I don't think I've actually used that layout with commentary, so we'll see how it goes. Now, whenever I do my edit hold on and Eric Monaco is going to lead the field to the green here actually not tucked in but Eric Monaco will so the way I'm going to do this is whoever the points leader is uh, we will focus a camera on him for an entire race I'll, I'll, I'll have to do that but we'll put him down in the corner while the actual race is up top and uh, my commentary or whatever else uh, game audio will correspond with the top left corner and then the top right corner will be whatever we're watching whether it be uh, a replay of an accident or uh, the points leader the chase leader so yeah yeah there you go and we're going four wide for the lead where we were not tuck fell Oh no, we're still going four wide for the lead. Oops, sorry, that turn on this. We have Jacob Forbes now going three wide once again. Jacob Forbes not taking the lead away from Oscar Lopez. Here comes Emerson Sheets, a chase driver. Are we starting out really well here? Oh boy. And Forbes, Forbes, did Forbes make the chase? If he was in the chase still, well, he'd be doing pretty well at the moment. And here comes Emerson Sheets. Definitely don't want to pull away like Sheets is now. 
because this will happen. They'll keep really good runs on you. Now, let's see who we can find in the back here. James Richardson, Henry Williams, Thomas Troxell, Jaderell, Peyton Beasley. No chase drivers, however, except for all oh, Pete Harrison. But, uh, no. I want to say he's got Not really. Now, I made some decisions. And after these series are done, tell me what you, actually, yeah, tell me what you guys think. I think I will do the Cup Series. I'll start the Cup Series after, uh, after the Dollar General Cup Series is over. I'm trying to think of when that is. That's, it's, it's soon though, but once, once that happens, I will, uh, I will do the four main series, and then we will go from there. I do want to, I do want, how do, how do I word this? Uh, I do want to run the fifth and fourth season of, seasons of the Elimination Series and the Throwback Cup Series, so those will more than likely be running at the same time, I'll figure out a schedule for it so it all kind of meshes together. And if not, then it's okay, I can run them after. So, it was Ryan Madden to me, but yeah. I think they'll, I'll, they'll run eventually. Oh. One day, one day or another. I think I might change. I think I'll go through a couple changes with the Elimination Series cars. I don't know. I haven't really figured that out yet. I'll see what happens. But Nate Bell... Oh, sorry. Mitchell Carter now taking the down. Nate Bell will be right there behind Madden. Oh, boy. Here comes Peyton Beasley. Looking to... Get a win, even though he was knocked out of the chair. We have Cody Hagen now. And James Richardson. Here comes Ethan Harrison, who we saw towards the back of the pack now, making his way up it. He's looking for a really good finish here. Now, I kept forgetting in the like, little series that there was multiple rounds, not just one round. I think that's probably where I got it from. But uh, what I want to talk about is the late model series. I think I might bring that one back as a custom car series now. Obviously, I suck at making cars because I just haven't done it enough. So, I'll try my best, like, I'll make cars, just like, test cars, and then once those sign-ups, if, if it, if it happens, if those sign-ups come up, then you can tell me what type of car, not, yeah, what car you want, what design, everything, and I can, I can do that. Or you can send me your own, I don't know. I may not even do customs. Who knows? I may not. But just just to let you know, in any of my series, if you want to make a custom car, go for it. I'll I'll put it in. I'll uh, I'll uh, have you race it. And we'll, I'll I'll put it in for you. You can uh, so you can see it. I'll, I'll keep it there. Unless they tell me something. Just if you make a custom car, I'll put it in the game for you. And then I'll, I'll uh, have it race as your main scheme. So there you go. Hopefully, hopefully that sounds like a good idea. But that's for any series. Now 
out front. Yeah. And now we have Ryan Madden. And Henry. We have Ryan Madden at Monaco's also a chase driver, but technically Madden's the highest chase driver at the moment. About to be in first, yeah. Now he's in first. See? And once more of these series get dwindled down, like right now, four is just kind of like that sweet spot, like I can do a few, like four a week. But once it gets down to like three and two and eventually one series running at the moment, or at the time, I guess. Oh, I knew I heard something. And Thomas Troxel up and over, Mitchell Carter involved. Oh boy. We also have the 9 of Abe Troxel and 20 of Beasley, and that's, that's really unfortunate. Hold on, let's watch the race back to the line if there is one. I was like, what's that? Like, I heard screeching in the back. That doesn't sound right. But, nonetheless, Oscar Lopez is going to lead the field back to the line. Oh, actually. No! Henry Williams will leave the field back to the line. Actually, they tied there. So you can see, what is up with all the times? I don't get that. Okay, well, Mitchell Carter seems to be fine. And this is what I'm talking about. Oh, wait a minute. If I was going to do this, yeah, I'll, I'll do this post-race. Yeah, 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 yeah. I probably won't do the leader, the points leader, until... Um, the final race, just uh, just because it's kind of everyone's tied at the moment, and you really, it, yeah. Um, basically, whoever's leading will be the center of the camera for that time. Okay, uh, so we won't. I don't want to do this. Okay, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna review the caution. Okay, thing is, I'm not gonna review the caution. But, but, but. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, look, down in the right, bottom right corner, I will have multiple views, multiple replays of the wreck, multiple car angle. Have fun with it, you can look at that. <laughs> oh man, yeah, so, I, I'm trying to figure out how to, oh, I'm doing this again. I've never done this with commentary, I don't think, so. Hopefully it goes well. And yeah, so I'm just gonna leave these guys going around and yes it will take some more time out of uh, out of my day but it doesn't matter because one thing it's summer two I'm having fun with it so two thumbs up there it's really really fun plus it's not just like oh here's here's your cars and, uh, yeah. Oh. I don't think it matters if I'm in the way. I don't know. Um. Yeah, well, because if I do this, then... The race will be widescreen just so you're not squinting to see what happens but every now and again I will like put the camera on the leader or uh, or the wreck well I mean obviously a wreck so we can see it but 
Yeah, I'm not gonna have, like, majority might be kind of two screens, but not 100%. I'll, like, starting lineup, first few laps I won't, and then once we get past the first few, if there's no caution, then I will, uh, put it on the leader, the points leader, I mean, and we go from there. So this race will only have the caution, or cautions if there are multiple, but I don't think there are crazy things have happened. I'll just have to wait and see, I guess. But, uh, yeah. I think I, I really enjoy the... I really enjoyed this layout more than I did uh, when I was testing with the IROC races, um, where you're saying the laps and whatnot. I think, I haven't messed with this, the new layout in a while, so I'll have to see how big the screens are. Hopefully they're not too small. Kind of nice. Small. They were big enough to at least see how many laps you had. Yeah, this, this is okay, well, oh yeah, and the points, the points won't, but, uh, alright, sorry, I mean, points won't be double screened, so at the moment, okay, it looks like a Troxel, let me get back out here, Ryan Madden and the highest chase driver, but Troxel, Carter, two chase drivers involved, Yeah, Beasley, former chase driver, and Thomas Troxel. Oh, okay, no, no. I was I was gonna get on to myself like why I, I messed up his name? No, I didn't. Okay. We got the trusty dusty pace car here. Okay, yeah. So plus it'll give me time to, to talk about things. So. Uh, I think, I think running the Cup Series uh, uh, Xfinity truck and then Arca Series after, after this would be nice. Uh, I still don't know what I want to do about the Throwback Cup Series and the Elimination Series. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run them, but I don't know what I'm going to do about their car since. Now, I think what I can do about the Throwback Cup Series, I, I, I'll keep the original, or last season, I'll keep last seasons, and, uh, we'll go from there, and so that, that should be figured out, but, the elimination series, now, it's gonna be tough, do I wanna move away from the Canadian, sorry, the Piney series, do I wanna move away from the Piney series, do I wanna keep going on, because I can move to the cup cars, just fine, or something else. I can move. I can do use any mod for that series that has more than, or that has at least thirty drivers. So I can use any cut mod. I could. I could do a lot. I could use Xfinity. I could use Truck. I could. I could do quite a bit with that. Um, but I think. I think. Now that I think about it, I might just keep it because that's kind of like the staple car set for that series so yeah yeah let's uh let's use that I think that'll I think that'll be good yeah, let, let's keep the sorry let's keep the piney series cars now they are coming out with the 2017 cars so hopefully by the time I get to that series, they'll have most of the car, at least 30 different cars out. They already have a few on there, I just haven't downloaded them. I have all the 2016 cars, so if not, then we're fine. I'll just, I'll just use the 2016 cars. Oh, and with the, uh, the Cup Series, I do have the 2017 cars. I can't find a mod for the 2017 Xfinity, 
Uh, I checked on the NR2K3 Weebly, but it's just one car, so I guess I'll have to find a car set for that. If anybody knows where I can get an Xfinity, because I have the trucks as well, I think. I haven't, I haven't uh, tried it out yet, so I don't know. But at the moment, from what I know, I have the trucks. And then the Arca series, I... If not, I'll just reuse the ones that I have. I think we good. Well, oh. here we go. I'm not going to use the Narrow Way layout for, uh... Yeah, well, forget that. I I'll, I'll use the Narrow Way layout. Trust me, I'm still figuring stuff out, so you gotta bear with me. Okay, well, here we go. Henry, Lee, Henry Williams gonna leave the field back to the green. Lopez is getting out of line there. Okay. Now, Madden looking to win here. Definitely go on to the next round of the chase. Now, Troxel, Metro Carter, Ethan Harrison, and Emerson Sheets up and would not make it onto the next round of the chase. But we still have quite a few laps to go. So many things can happen, but I am at Eric Monaco right now dominating the We have eight cards left, right? Griffin Lynn. Mm -hmm. Griffin Lynn. That's him. though putting a lot of pressure sorry guys uh, okay sorry about that um what was I? okay yes eric monaco out front at the moment here comes forbes looking to take the lead away from our current points leader. Well, I say current because, you know, oh my goodness, we're going four wide. Forget what I was saying. Yes, we're going four wide. No, um, current point leader because everyone's tied at the moment and Monaco's eyes just Here comes Ethan Harrison. Oh no boy. I think, I think Carter and Troxel are. Man, that, that's tough to say the least. That's such a weird way to go. Stop answering. Okay, Nate Bell taking the lead at lay moment. Okay, at the moment. Oscar Lopez and Ethan Harrison. I'm trying to get around Bell. Yeah, my commentary went way down from the middle of this video. Okay, well, let's let's change that. We have three, two and a half laps to go. Two laps to go this time by. <laughs> oh boy. Man. Just how much I was being mm -hmm. Two left to go. Ethan Harrison at the moment the highest chase driver. Actually, we have three chase drivers right here. Where is 22? Oh boy. That may not be good for him if he cannot get around Griffin Lynn. If, uh, if Ryan Madden does not get around the 99, in the next lap. He's gone. Wait, sorry, no. No, wait a minute. 
have something to do here. I'm gonna be very wrong. Uh, I need to I need to use this. I need to use this. Okay, so Monaco. Harrison. Jeez. Oh, that's right, Cody Hagen. I completely forgot Hagen was in the chase. My bad. There we go. So yeah. Four chase drivers right here and I may get around him, but that actually won't help. They have to get around sheets if they want to actually stay in. And it's the final lap, and they're coming down the back stretch. So we're going to have to see what happens here. Can they get up in the field in time? There's some sheets. Out on the chase? Or Lynn, Madden, Carter, and Lynn. We're starting shots here. And Cody Hagen is going to win at Armory Digital. And that was a very anticlimactic announcing. Here. It was very anticlimactic announcing. I, I was trying to think of names. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Well, congratulations to Cody Hagen on getting the victory here today. I guess I'm gonna have to save the replay, come back. Nope. I can do it just fine because I... Yeah, I'll, I'll just delete my audio. So I can... It'll be fine. Okay, well, congratulations to Eric Hayden on grabbing the victory today. I know, I'm trying to think of it before I even get there, and it's going to be, like, I'm thinking it, it's making it hard in my head, okay? Gosh. Even though it's extremely easy to do, just put it in my head, and it's really hard. Well, very, very tough day for the bottom four chase drivers of Troxel, Carter, Madden, and Lynn. That's... That's that's really, really unfortunate for them. But nonetheless, congratulations, Cody Hagen, Monaco, Harrison, and Sheets for moving on to the next round. And with that, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you at your points going into the final race of the season. See ya in the next one.